surveys show gullibility of Australians over China. As it turns out, the Taiwanese have a much more realistic perspective on the possibility of a mainland Chinese invasion than Australians. Many of whom believe Beijing also wants to attack Australia. These are some of the findings from a study carried out by the Australia Institute in Canberra as part of its International and Security Affairs program. Australia would like to prevent a Chinese invasion this time, given how close the assault from Japan came during the Second World War. This month, 1,003 adults in Australia and 1,002 in Taiwan participated in two polls. There are more Australians who believe mainland China will attack their country soon than there are Taiwanese. Only 1 in 20 Taiwanese believe that the mainland will invade the island soon. Compared to nearly 1 in 4 Australians who think China will attack Taiwan soon. And only 1 in 20 Taiwanese believe that China will attack Australia in the foreseeable future. Compared to roughly 1 in 10 Australians. 70% of Australians and 68% of Taiwanese people, respectively, feel that Taiwan should become independent if it can preserve cordial relations with the mainland. Taiwanese opinion on whether their island should declare independence even if Beijing decides to attack is mixed, with 44% agreeing and 40% disagreeing. In contrast, most Australians, 63%, feel that Taiwan should proclaim its independence regardless of the consequences, while only 11% do not. Naturally, Western pundits and politicians have been asserting mainland China would follow the example and attack Taiwan. Since Russia began its Ukraine invasion in late February, Taiwanese people are aware that China is dangerous and will continue to lie to you until the very last moment. Despite a full-scale military exercise by the mainland, the director of the International and Security Affairs Program, Alan Bem, summarizes the survey's findings. The findings demonstrate that public opinion closely mirrors geopolitical and geostrategic reality. The more the anti-China lobby bangs the drums of war, the more wary Australians of Chinese descent become. He claimed, incredibly, Australians are more terrified of a Chinese attack than Taiwanese people are. The only logical conclusion is that hostile China-Australian ties are required. And Bem comes to that conclusion. He claimed that, the rhetoric on China and the scare tactics on the possibility of war have had an impact on popular sentiment. The findings confirm the need for a reset in the Australia-China relationship and how we conduct this crucial national dialogue. Indisputable common sense. Which is precisely why it wouldn't occur. China, however, lacks common sense. The issue is that the United States now understands China, even if it means going to war. And its allies in the West either support or oppose the United States. In the Allied war effort, Australia had already chosen which side it would help. Ordinary voters, particularly those in the so-called Anglo-American realm, have seen the light at the end of the tunnel and are ready to confront Chinese aggression to preserve the global world order that has maintained peace for the past 70 years worldwide alliance system.